Hi there! Uh, today I'm going to do a process video. Um, I've never done one before, but I figured I would share. Uh, since I have gotten a lot of great feedback about one of my title pages here. Um, this is a title page for like a um, reference section that I'm using in my everyday planner. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to make a title page for a booklet, an insert that I'm going to be using for a 100 day project. Um, I was inspired to, I've been wanting to do one for a little while, but I've been inspired, I finally found one that I wanted to do, so I'm going to be using this. This is an insert, insert from Muji, M-U-J-I. Um, there's a store here in New York but I believe you can also get them online and they make some really inexpensive stationery. You can see this is only two dollars. Um, so, and I just like the paper. It's super smooth. It does have some, a little bit, let me see if I can find something. So, like it has, try to turn the page. You can see there's some shadowing, like if I do um, calligraphy like a calligraphy pen. It does have some shadowing, but it's really not bad. You can, you know, if I was to go work on the back of this page, it really wouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, also, a lot of times I will put a page over this, and then that way, you know, you kind of have a blank slate, even if you do have a little bit of bleed through. But you can see here that there wasn't any problem. Um, going over it. So yes, I absolutely love these inserts. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to find about the middle. I actually like to work in my booklet, um, or in my traveler's notebook I should say. And so I'm going to just go ahead and put this in. I am using a Foxy Dory Wanderlust, which if you saw my comparison video, it was really hard to decide between a few of these but I decided to keep the Foxy Dory Wanderlust and the Perfect Papier planner as my two planners. So one thing I like to do is I don't like to use the very first page. I actually use the second page when I'm using a new insert a lot of times if they're kind of um, mass manufactured or mass, mass made because a lot of times like it's glued and this page wants to go to the front cover so I just use it as kind of a protection thing between between my first title page and the cover. Um, I have prepped a little bit. One of my favorite favorite tools is this hex punch. It's a mini hex punch by Fiskars um, and I just really really love this thing. It is amazing and one thing that I do a lot is I take Project Life cards that are kind of a little more basic or plain and then or the, you know one that I like the design of and I cut them out with the hex punch and then you get this you, when you start using them you can get a really amazing effect when you use um, more than one so I have a few of those I've gone ahead and also pulled out um, a main card that I plan on using. I'm going to use this. This is also a Project Life card. I'm actually not sure what kit this is from because this was a trade um, for. I had a kit and a friend had a kit, so we traded some of ours. I think it's from the Jade edition, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. Um, so this, I'm I'm using this as the card because. My 100 day project is going to be recording lines um, that my children say, hopefully that my children say, maybe quotes here and there, but I almost like a one line journal, um, but instead I'm going to do little things that my children say. I have a six year old and a three year old, and right now some of the things that come out of their mouth are just so funny and humorous. and touching at times um, so I really you know I was noticing yesterday I decided it was going to be my first day and I was noticing that a lot of the 
things they were saying were just, you know, it was almost hard to pick one. Um, so anyway, so I thought it would be a good project. I've, anyone that knows me knows that 100 days is going to be a really long time for me. I don't have, um, I don't do anything nearly, I don't do much every single day. So it's going to be a little tough for me. So anyway, right now I'm just kind of laying these out. Um, I did put these decorative ones kind of to the side because they're a little more, they're just a little different and so I want to make sure that when I use them I don't mistakenly use the opposite side because they're pretty and I like to kind of have a focal, a focal point. Um, I've also pulled out this which I was thinking might look nice somewhere along the bottom but I'm actually not sure if the colors will go. So we'll see, and I also have I have a dictionary um, that's a little bit kind of vintagey looking. It's probably let's see what year it's from. <laughs> it is from that's funny. It's actually from 1995, which doesn't seem that long ago, but I guess it is 20 years old. So considered vintage at this point and it just has that coloration that I'm looking for not too brown but a little bit of coloring and I turn to the page that has um, it has like record recorder recording and I thought that would be nice to use in here so I'm gonna go ahead and just rip this out because that's the one that I'm going to use and I need to figure out where I'm going to use this. Hmm. Let's see. So, I don't really like the top. Um, so, I think I'm going to like this. And one thing that I really like to do is leave rough edges. It just gives a kind of different feeling to things. Um, I'm going to go down here just because I know that and I'm using the the um, ruler as a kind of guide. If I use it straight then it will give a very straight edge. You can see here it gives that really straight edge if you go right along it versus kind of this little bit more jagged edge if you use it as a general guideline. So, let's see what I want to do here. One thing I didn't think about is that the words I wanted were on this side. So I might need to stick this on the inside here. Hmm. I think actually I'm going to, I'm going to rip off the side. do that. So that'll go like that. Okay, so I need to cut this down on the side. Now that's the part that I actually ripped out of the book. So I'm going to keep that extra jagged. Yeah, I like that I think. I like that. Hmm. So I really like to live by a no rules, um, a no rules guideline. My style, my design is definitely perfectly imperfect, and I would encourage you to kind of embrace this. A lot of times, things do not come out the way that I was expecting them to, um, and it's easy to kind of get disappointed in that, but. I would encourage you to just embrace it and go with it because a lot of times it comes out better than you even anticipated. Uh oh. That's not good. Hmm. Well, apparently my tape is very sticky. 
to just rip that right off, but I think it should be fine. Hmm. I'm going to take that off because otherwise it'll leave a bump. Um, I'll just put a little bit more here. Alright, so let's see. Again, I'm just going to eyeball kind of what I want to do. Hmm. I'm hoping I didn't just mess up what I was trying to do. I know what recorder says. Hmm. Record the act of being recorded. Oh, I guess that would be record to set down in writing. So I think instead of just leaving the definition, I'm actually just going to go with this. And I'm going to put this on here, but I don't think I'm actually going to use it yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to just put that to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Actually, for this, I need my glue stick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my glue stick. Um, this is Craft Bond by Elmer's, which... I actually started using the double-sided stick tape from them too, and I'm liking it so far. I didn't like how that just ripped, but I'm liking it so far. This, for some reason, seems extra gooey. I think my daughter might have used this, and I'm just going to go ahead and start kind of making a like honeycomb effect on here. So one thing that I learned recently that I really loved a technique was um, leaving some of them hanging off and then we'll cut them after. So it kind of gives that illusion of it's just continuing off the page. I learned this from a YouTuber, I'm sorry, it was just a random video that I watched. I'm not sure who it is. Um, but if I find it, I will definitely link it below. Oops. The other thing I like to do is leave a little bit of space um, between some things. So I might let me try and pop that over there. But so for instance. I'm going to pretend that this is here, but I'm not actually going to put anything there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go like that and see that might look good. So, uh oh, where are my scissors? Normally I cut it after, um, I don't know why I actually just did it before, but it'll be alright. I hope. <laughs> okay, let's see, I think it needs some more of like, the way that bluish let me try to remember where I'm going to put I'm going to put this right so
I also like to follow um, the rule of threes or odds, I guess you should say, what I should say. And that just says that by nature we are drawn to things in odd numbers as humans. Um, so I like to follow that rule. It's more appealing to the eye. People are just kind of more drawn to it. Four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if I should put something up here or even under there. Oh, I forgot I put sticky stuff on there. I think I want to have one peeking out somehow over here. So, let's see. Actually, this yellow one I haven't used yet. Maybe over here. Hmm. Might be kind of cool. I don't like it. <laughs> and this is when, you know, this is really just honestly the process um, where things come into play. And you just have to play around and figure out what works for you. Alright. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. That's going to end up there. Um, I'm going to get out some stamps. So, this is where I keep my stamps. Um, I think I might use this guy. And I do have a jumbo acrylic block for these, but I don't like how it works a lot of times. Um, or it might just be too big for what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to just use this little piece of plastic. Um, I'm actually going to use a Distress Ink. Okay, that with the kid. Got my distress ink. So this is a Tim Holtz distress ink in tea dye. Um, and I know this is not the proper way to use it, but I actually like that it gives. Um, it's like a brown one. So I think I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to go along right underneath. Hmm. Not as good as I hoped it would be, but it's okay. Again, perfectly imperfect. Again, I'm just going to put my card just to see. Well, I guess we didn't need that last one. Yeah, that works. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do any other stamps. I have this, um, this great stamp set from, I believe it's Paper Perfect. Um, I will put that link below as well. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to get a quote on here somehow. Ugh. Sorry the noise. I do live in New York City. So that's, that'll happen. Um, hmm. Where are my stamps? Here are my stamps. So I have another great set of stamps. And... These have um, quotes on them, and it's Allie Edwards, and I like these a lot. Um, 
they have quotes about it being every day. It says experiencing everyday life, one day at a time, welcome the beautiful simplicity of everyday life, the simple joy of recording memories. They're really good for like, you know, just documenting, documenting things, celebrate daily life. Hmm, which one should we go with? Maybe either, yeah, the simple joy of everyday life or welcome. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to go, <coughs> excuse me, with the simple joy of everyday life. <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. And I'm going to put that again on this plastic sheet. And I'm just going to put it on and make sure that I have it the right way. Because of the script sometimes in the past, believe it or not, I've actually put it in completely upside down because of the loop-de-loops, which is how we can get as scrappers if we're not careful. So the one thing that the block has that this doesn't is a straight line. But again, I'm not into kind of those rules of things. So I'm going to do this and hopefully, you know what, the line, I'm going to use the block. Hmm. If I know what I did with my block. Oh man. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to put it on. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's long and you can see it's a little wobbly. So I want to try to get it straight. I'm going to go up this side. So make sure that that'll work. Alright, I'm going to do this in black. I'm using um, Memento Fade Resistant Dye Ink in Tuxedo Black. Not crazy about this ink, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm using. It's nice because the pad is not too squishy. Um, but hopefully, I didn't put too much ink on it. That gentle balance of not too much and not too little. So I'm just going to double check that there's nothing else. Okay. And let's. Hmm. It worked, but it's kind of a little hard to read because of that. So I'm wondering, I may need to go back and fix that later. Um, these are stamps from Heidi Swap. I'm wondering if I should maybe use one of these. Yeah, maybe after. We'll see. So, let's see what's next. So next, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I might actually move it down here a little bit to kind of get that graphic. I think that's good. I'm just going to stick it on. Um, so now to decide if I am in fact going to use this and I don't think I'm going to because I don't like how it's sitting so I kind of screwed up my own my own plan which tends to happen um, but I do have some other embellishments of course so maybe I can find something else I'm gonna actually put, push pause for a sec Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put one of these jars here or if I'm going to put one of these. I love these. The only problem is they are a little thick, so it makes me hesitant to use them. Um, I might use that everyday 
thing considering I need to do this every single day. Um, or I can use one of these jars, which I might do um, because I do have, I believe, a, a, I love the phrase, you know, you fill my cup or my cup is full, that type of thing. So it might be nice to go with the jar. Um, do, do, do. But every day it's nice too. I just, I kind of don't want more words. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the jar and just keep it kind of simple. Is that the one I want? It's a little large. Do, 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 do. This is the part that drives me nuts. These are really great, by the way, um, and they're from Stickabilities. I love these because they're clear, um, so you could put something behind it. You could, you know, leave it as is. All right, I keep being drawn to that one, so we're just gonna go with that one. If I could get it off, that'd be awesome. I believe I found this at, I think at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I want it on, but not too much on, so I'm going to go like, oh, I just realized that the record is kind of underneath. So yeah, I like that. is right in there it says recording which is something that probably nobody would notice um, if they were looking through but I will know and you will know now so let's get some of these out of the way so I don't need this anymore I am gonna put I think a few more of the things down here um, a few more of these what's this kind of hexagonal shapes um, just to have a little bit more detail a little bit more and also the one two three have that look to it I'm really not liking this color after all I thought I would but I'm not so this is a little more gentle yeah Maybe just on there a little bit. And then I think I'm going to I think I like that. The only thing I might do would be to switch those, but I don't want it too similar to the top. So I'm just gonna gonna go for it.
know if you can hear that. Someone is making sure that their car is very locked. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trim these off. like that it might be done um, so I think I'm gonna put the dates that I'm doing this somewhere on it I'm not sure if I want to put it there or down here um, I have this stamp from Heidi Swamp I adore this stamp the month is written out and then it has the date and I just love that that kind of look to it. To the first day that I did it was yesterday, so um, I'm gonna see. So why am I on the 18th? So I'm looking at my Hobonichi um, because the date, the number of the day is listed here. So yesterday was. 196. Hopefully that's focusing. Maybe not, but it was 196. So I'm going to look ahead to 296, which is here. Um, 296. So that's 1023. Oh, that is a really long time, but I'm going to do my best to try to do it. So we're going to start in um, July. Do, 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 do. And July 18th. No, <laughs> not July 18th. July 15th, 2015. Okay. And I think I'm going to do one up here and one down here because that's going to be start to finish maybe here and here mm. I'm not sure but I got too much here so I'm gonna wipe that off because I really don't want that on there a little bit so I really don't like how that came out so I'm going to Use some good old washi. Um, and it looks like I'll probably need a couple sheets of this because it's not going to cover it up. Hmm. I'm just going to rip this for now because I can trim it after. Do that is really not working. So let me see. Let's see what we can do. And this is what I mean. Things happen, and then I'm not satisfied, and I need to fix it. <laughs> going to trim this down for now. Um, I actually have uh, this, which may actually be able to be used. Or I might be able to write on top of the washi with my washi pen. So this is a great um, pen. This is a washi pen, and it's made to write on top of washi, washi tape. So I'm just going to write on top of it, but I'm not going to try to do some different um, 
a different font. I'm just going to do my handwriting. That looks much better. So, that's the final product. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm least happy with this washi tape. That might end up coming off. I don't like it. So, I'm going to attempt to fix my lettering. Let's see. Let me see what I can do. I'm doing this. I might be messing it up more. Yep, probably. Now it's even worse. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Because I like that a whole lot better than the washi. That's the good thing about scrapbooking. There's usually a way to cover it up, to fix it, to do something different. And though this is not what I had originally intended, I think it'll turn out just fine. Alright. So, that is done. I'm going to leave it. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, um, just let me know below. And... I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you might be inspired to do, um, maybe do some of the hexagonal shapes or go ahead and do your own 100-day project. And the idea is just to do something for 100 days um, because this is my, I'm a mom of young kids, and I like scrapbooking and creative journaling, so this is what I'm going to do. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.